I hope that you took your time with this, that you maybe even paused the video, um, really reflected, thought back to what we already learned and used your workbook as well to help you come up with a sentence. And if you came up with la chaise est jaune, you are correct. Okay, now how do you say the pencil is red? The pencil is red. This time we're just going to do it orally. So pause the video and think. Okay, how do you say the pencil is red? Well, you would say le crayon est rouge. Le crayon est rouge. The pencil is red. Le crayon est rouge. Now I'll write on the board just, just because. Rouge is how you say red. Again, you would find that in your workbook. I have a list of all the colors in French and English. So I really strongly encourage you to use um, les noms that I have gave that I have already given you to make up your own sentences. Challenge yourself. Make yourself practice. Um, even think outside the box. To come up with a sentence in English, something simple, such as this: Le crayon est rouge. The pencil is red. Use colors. Um, use other things that I've provided in the workbook too. But something simple like this is more than enough. You can say, you could practice saying, um, the. Uh, the door is brown or the door is yellow, okay? Just practicing those vocabulary words, practicing what determinants to use. Um, in the workbook, I actually have some sentences for you to practice where I give you the sentence in English and then you practice them in French and there is an answer key as well that you can verify. Um, but seriously, just practice these. Come up with sentences in English, challenge yourself to say them in French and then check. That simple.